Hi. In this video, we're going to look at the Kotlin language using the conditional statements, which is the famous if and then statements. This will allow you to make programs that make decisions. So a super powerful feature of a programming language. Just remember that this video is a part of a series. So we're learning the Kotlin language with a goal of becoming Android application developers. So if you check the comments, you'll see that there's a playlist here that's associated. So make sure that you see the whole thing. So to demonstrate our programming technique, I'm going to start with two variables. I'm going to say my age is 14 and my name is undefined. So here's the example code that we're going to work with. I'm going to say if. So the if condition is if my age is greater than 18. And you notice we put the whole thing inside of parentheses to make it like a algebra unit. So this is a true false condition. So is my age greater than 18. If it is greater than 18, then continue on and work with these curly brackets. So between the beginning and the end of the curly bracket, I have one statement that says print line and it says welcome to the program. And then we're going to end that section. The last thing we're going to do is print that your name is my name and it should say undefined right now. And then it should say 14 for your age. Let's just check that out to see what happens. Okay, notice it did not say welcome to the program. All it did say was welcome, or your name is undefined. So let's change this. Uh, we're going to make this uh, 24 now. So is 24 greater than 18? Mm, I think so, yeah. So then it should now execute the part inside of these curly brackets. Let's try that again. So this time we're going to see two statements. It says welcome to the program and your name is undefined. All right, so that has how the if statement works. It says compare two variables, compare two values. If this is true, then go ahead and continue. If it's false, then just do nothing and, and move on. Notice we can add more than one statement inside the curly brackets. So after welcome to the program, I'm going to print please enter your name. And then I'm going to get a new assignment for the name. I'm just going to do a read line. So whatever the user types at the keyboard will become the new value. So let's check this out. Let's see what happens. So we are 24 years old in this version. So it does say, please enter your name. So I'm going to put in the word Shad. And then it says, your name is Shad and the age is 24. <laughs> Do I look 24? Uh, probably not. But anyway, we've got ourselves an example of an if statement. Here's an optional statement you can use. It's called an else statement. So else means if the first condition is not true, then do the else. So we're going to say if you're not greater than 18, you're not old enough to use this program. And then it will just say the same statement at the end. So let's run it again. And this time it says, please enter your name. And you notice that the else didn't do anything. How would we make that else become active? Well, we'd have to change the value of the age. So let's go back and make ourselves uh, an eight-year-old, okay, and run it again. And this time, you get the message that says, you're not old enough to use this program, and then it says your name is still undefined. So following through, we see that we have an if section, and then we have an else section, and one of the two are being uh, executed. In this example, we only have one condition where it asks about my age being greater than 18. In the next video, I'm going to show you a very complex example and multiple ways to do Boolean logic. So Boolean logic is where you can have if statements and uh, evaluate uh, multiple conditions at the same time. So that's coming up next.